like shipment means that the shipment needs to be covered right away. But a land building shipment would be what you would do in the case of down the road. So if you know that every year you're going to ship Christmas trees, for example, and you know that they come out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, then you're going to use this lane script to say, hello, this is, this is Melissa. Can I speak to somebody in flatbed dispatch? And then you say, I have a shipment that picks up in Fort Wayne going to Toledo, Ohio. It has many drops, but I want you to make sure that during Christmas, you're getting the best pay ever. So you're going to get the best pay ever. And why are you going to get the best pay ever? Because it's Christmas time. So if we can come up with something where next year during Christmas time, you will get the better rates. Can I put you on my list? And what would you be your rate per mile that you would move these loads with multiple stops on a dedicated basis during Christmas? That way you can make, you know, premium rates. If you run that as a script, you're now building your lane building. You're building a list of carriers from a given area for lane building. So uh, that is the way that I recommend that you would now build. Same thing with the holiday hams and the sausage. Same thing with holiday wholesale. There's a wholesaler for Christmas ornaments. Um, and understanding, you know, the market trends and the commodities, um, we're going to be working on that. But I felt that, yeah, you may get a lot of these holiday loads, but now what are we going to do? During the holiday, the best board to use is DAT and truck stop during the holiday. Because if you're moving holiday freight, the rates are going to be high. The higher the rate, the better it's going to, to, to be able to pay you're going to be able to move a load. Uh, there is going to be a driver who's going to be willing to take the 14 stopper that she just discussed because they're going to get paid better, right? Um, and so during those processes, it's okay to do that. But what you can do later on is you can now build that database by your building your lane. So you're building data inside of a spreadsheet or a CRM or, or something of that nature. So again, for those coming into the room, I asked a question at the very beginning is, over the last couple of weeks, have you been able to build um, a customer base or have you quoted some shipments or how can you move shipments um, during this process? Another second is, is that if you are a, freight brokerage owner and not an agency, right? Most likely if you're an agency, you're gonna be able to use their credit leverage. So you don't have to face those credit issues. You're able to post loads and you'll get inbound phone calls. But for those who have a brand new brokerage, um, it becomes a little bit more challenging. And so just like you negotiate with customers, the carrier is just as important as a shipper how you treat that carrier, how you, you know, manage that carrier is going to be a big difference in whether or not you get the lane done. For example, if they say, no, you're a brand new broker, I can't use you. Um, I would have a script that I know down pat. What my response would be is, you do know I have a shipper and my shipper does pay. So if the shipper is paying and and the funds can get into your hand immediately and you don't have to pay a quick pay fee, would you be interested? Because what you could do, and this is what a lot of clients do, is you don't charge the carrier the quick pay fee, you absorb that quick pay fee. For example, let's say your factoring company, if that's where you're gonna go with, is charging 3% for quick pay and they can get you money within 24 hours. My question would be back to them, always answer a question with a question and say, if I can get you funds in your hands with no fee within 24 hours, would you be interested in taking this load? That will now put that into their position of saying, yeah, I'm interested in that. Because the reality is, is that I work with customers all the time that have factoring companies who are brand new startup companies 
and they are able to move the loads because they're able to get the cash into their hand. So let's say that a load pays $5,000, right? And you made 15% on that load. So you made $750. If, you, if they were to go through your factoring company, most likely it would be $150 for the quick pay fee, which is 3% of 5,000, okay? So if you were making 750, you could get, make, you can pay their $150 which is their quick pay fee and work that out with your factoring company that they don't pay the fee, but you pay the fee. And that's something that you're able to do. So that allows you to now say that $600. So again, what I would say for Maureen, who I said, yes, chassis are hard to come by, especially because our, our country is with a supply chain issue with the ports. We are all fully aware of that. We're able to get the customers, but maybe we're not able to move the freight. I would strongly recommend that you, you, you do just like I talked about the Christmas trees, is if you want to be a, a leader in port work, a leader where you are set up with all the ports, the port of Houston, the port of LA, the port of um, Charleston, the, the port of Savannah, the, the port of Baltimore. If you wanna be a part of all of those ports, I would recommend finding the carriers in those cities that do port work and see if you can now tap into their chassis pool. Tap into saying, you know what? I have clients that have X amount, but it's gonna require you to do a lot of emailing, a lot of phone calls, um, and just as you do, you put the effort in the sales part of it, of finding shippers, that same investment has to now be inside the carrier as well. So using carrier lists in lieu of load boards, when you are looking for dedicated freight and not expedite or holiday freight.